Hi there, Janet. How are you doing? Oh, hi, Peter. You know, same old, same old. I just finished an IED replacement, and I was in there with Darcy. Uh, yep. <laughs> Feeling frustrated? Yeah, a little bit tired. Yeah, wishing you had some downtime. Downtime? Oh, we both know sleep is a rare commodity between Susan leaving here and the kids at home. Yeah. I hear you, Janet. Three kids at home and a full clinical load here. Sounds like you're feeling pretty exhausted. Needing a little rest? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, pretty much. You know, Gabriella was up half the night last night, and the night before that, I was on call, and I honestly don't remember the last time I got five hours of uninterrupted sleep. Sometimes I feel like I'm at the end of my rope. It's really been a struggle lately. I know my work is fine, but you no, know, lately I've been losing patience with the nurses. Like today, for example. Darcy didn't even have the speculum ready, even though we need that for every single pelvic exam. Normally those kind of things don't get to me, but today I just felt so irritated. I sort of lost my cool, at least internally. But what do you do, right? So you're feeling a bit impatient, looking for some support? Not so much impatient, it's just frustrated. And not really looking for, you know, special support, but I think Everyday normal competence would be nice. <laughs> you know, it's pretty difficult asking for what you need, hey? Yeah, that's for sure. Well, listen, Janet, my kids are all older, but I remember those sleepless nights. So if there's anything that I can do to help, like take a couple of extra walk-in shifts so you can get some rest, or, you know, if you just want to talk, please let me know. Thank you, Peter. That means a lot to me. And thank you for listening. You're welcome. Well, I better get back in there. <laughs> See you in the battlefield.